G'day fellow Black Pillars and Inkwells, it's Master Yoda here and I hope you guys are, are all doing well. The title of today's video is called How You Shouldn't Be The Guy She Settles For and I must thank uh, YouTube user LGeneral0618 for this topic suggestion, thank you very much for that. Um, he goes on to say here when he, when he made the topic suggestion, it may be tempting to get into a relationship with a post-war woman that's finally giving you a chance. But it's a recipe for misery. She's going to be bitter that she had to settle for you after she thought she'd get a chab. She's going to be belittle you, be hard on you all the time, cheer on you, etc. Yeah, look, that's that's a great point. And, yeah, it's, this is a tough one. Um, a lot of us, you know, through no fault of our own, we really haven't had much relationship experience, really haven't had any women show any interest in us at all. I mean, speaking for myself as a sub-three, sub-human, um, I've really never had any women show any any romantic or sexual interest, interest in me at all. My only non-paid sexual experience with a woman was with a hooker that took a liking to me and she, she gave me a few free ones outside of her work. But aside from that, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And every, every woman I've um, approached, whether that be online or, or in person, uh, has rejected me. In a previous video, I mentioned um, that over my entire lifetime, although between 1977 and 2012 was, was, was when I tried to find a wife or a girlfriend, I've been rejected about probably about 220, 230 times. 100, 100 of those rejections were in person ones, like face to face, and the remaining ones were online. So, yeah, no, didn't really have much luck um, until I gave up in 2012. But yeah, a lot of us guys are in that situation. You know, we haven't had, really haven't had much female attention at all. And in the unlikely but possible event, you know, you might meet a, a post-war woman um, who might who might want to give you a chance. But the chances are, she's probably been, been run through by all the chads and spat out by them, and she's going to. Uh, take out all her bad relationship choices out on you, which is unfair because it's not, not your fault that she she kept dating dickheads, but unfortunately, as, as we know, with a lot of modern women, the words responsibility and accountability are simply not in their vocabulary. Um, you, you go on YouTube and TikTok and you just see women just endlessly complain about men, oh, men are, all men are bastards, all men are pigs, they're all cheaters, they're all liars. Um... With these women, what they're what they're doing, what they're really doing is they're complaining about the fact that Chad won't commit to them. They're not talking about a savage, an average and below average guys. We're simply not on their radar. We're just totally invisible to these women. And these women keep keep making the same mistake. They keep going from dickhead to dickhead to dickhead to dickhead. I mean, I've lost count of the sob stories of women telling me about how their ex did this and their ex did you know he, he hit him or they he cheated or they cheated on him or they subjected them to mental cruelty or physical cruelty or whatever. You know, the, 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 these men just basically treated these women treated these women like shit, and they keep making the same mistake. Now, once again, no woman deserves to be subjected to any form of mental and/or physical cruelty. That is totally unacceptable and totally wrong. But I think a lot of women out there are masochists. They they enjoy suffering. They enjoy being in pain. I don't know why. I don't know how any sane or rational person could enjoy being in a relationship with allowing the other person to treat them like shit. I mean, I no way I wouldn't put up with it. But a lot of these women do, and um, they just keep making the same mistake over and over again. And look, once again, I don't wish that I don't wish any woman be subjected to any form of mental or physical cruelty, or both, God forbid. Um, but at the same time, too, I think. Uh, a lot of modern women are truly the, the architects of their own dating misery. They've got the opportunity to date nice guys. No, genuine nice guys, not, not the fake ones. Genuine nice guys. But they knock these guys back because they're not good looking enough. They're not rich enough. They're not tall enough. You know, blah, blah, blah. So these women really, um, yeah, they are really the architects of their own da dating misery. They, they have the opportunity to date genuine nice, you know, genuine men, but chose to chose to go for the for the for the dickhead, the bad boy, the you know yeah, the douchebag. So the, those women I don't really have a lot of sympathy for. Um 
and if she settles for you, yeah, she's going to probably take that out on you. I have a, a close friend of mine who just come out of a 22-year marriage and he's now, last two years, last two years he's been dating a single mother. And the single mother is starting to bust his balls. Look, she's not a bad person per se, but my friend um, who's dating the single mother, uh, yeah, he's taken out on he's taken her out on two holidays where he spent two thousand dollars each time, and she busted his balls both times. Um, and I said to him, "Well, why do you put up with it?" And even his own father said to him, "Look, you got to break up with this woman. You know what I mean? She's going to make you miserable." But he. Um, he keeps simping for her. I don't know why. And look, with with my friend, the one that you know, the one that stayed in the single mother, he he was never an inkwell. Um, even before he got married, he did okay with the ladies. And he's, I probably no homo. I'd rate him as a high tier normie. You know, he's a bit over six foot tall, in good shape. He, even before he got married, he did pretty well, did pretty good with the ladies. But he's now dating a single mother who's busting his balls. Um, I told him, you know, you need to break up with this woman. And even his own father's told him that, but he's not listening. But you know, what can you do? But just going back to mostly us guys who haven't had a lot of uh, relationship experience, and totally not our fault. Totally not not not, not your fault. Um, if you do meet a post or woman who wants to, who's going wants to give you a chance, yeah, it's a tough one. Um, it's it's your call. Look, maybe give it a, give it a, give it a chance. Um, whatever you don't move in with her or marry her, because you, you don't want her taking you to court and taking half your shit. Just see how it goes. You know, just give it a go. You know, if it doesn't work out, no big deal. But don't don't in, invest too much emotion into her. Just date her. You know, see if you get some sex out of her. If not, not the end of the world either. Just politely break up with her and just you know, just keep it moving. Yeah, but L General Zero Six One Eight does make a good point here, or makes a good, a great point really. If you do meet a post war woman who has been ran through, she will unfairly take out her bad relationship decisions out on you, which is unfair. I mean, it's not your fault that she keeps dating dickheads. Uh, but unfortunately, the words responsibility and accountability are not in the modern woman's vocabulary. Um. Yeah, it's a tough one. It really is because uh, I think we all, also to many of us are aware of the of the modern woman's uh, dual mating strategy in the sense that when she was in her twenties and she should be settling down and having children, she's out you know riding the carousel, getting getting banged out by all the chads, and obviously she can't get the the chads to commit to them. And when she hits her late twenties or early thirties, she gets a case of the baby rabies, and she then settles for the reliable beta provider. This is the same guy that she ignored or friend zoned, rejected, whatever. It's still it's all the same shit. You know, when her twenties and now she wants to, she'll settle for him. But the problem with these these beta bucks guys is you, these guys end up in a dead bedroom marriage where the woman will end up cheating on the guy, and um, she'll probably divorce him and take half or more of his shit in it. In the um, in the family courts, so yeah, with for me personally, I'm 55 years old now. I mean, my dating life's over. It's well and truly over. Then again, it never really began for me in the first place. If I was to meet a woman around my age, or a little bit younger, or a little bit older, give or take, and she wanted to give me a chance, <laughs> or I don't, see, I don't see much chance of that happening. Um, look, I'd I have I judge it on its merits. I judge it on its merits. Um, because I'm a, I'm I'm definitely a beggar, not a chooser. For the rest of you guys, it's it's really up to you. But just whatever you do, just um, just use your common sense. Use your common sense whether you want to date a post-war woman or. Yeah, you, I mean, we, we really shouldn't be the guy that, that they settle for, you know what I mean? Um, but, um, you know, what do you do? You, it's, it's a bit of a catch-22 because if you reject a woman like that, well, you've got to be lonely again and you'll probably, probably not find another woman. 
But if you do have a relationship with her, she could end up busting your balls and hurting you. So it's it's a tough one. It really is. Anyway, guys, that's all to say on the topic. Uh, if you'd like to leave your likes, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. You guys have a great day. Thanks, and bye for now.